Have you ever noticed transformers running hotter than expected? The reason might be harmonic currents, and the solution could lie in using a K-factor rated transformer. In this video, we are going to break down what a K-factor rated transformer is, why it matters, and how it addresses the challenges posed by harmonics. Modern electrical systems are filled with non-linear loads, like UPS, VFDs, rectifiers, EV chargers, data centers, and LED lights, etc. Unlike linear loads, these devices don't draw current in smooth, sinusoidal waveforms. Instead, they generate harmonic currents, additional frequency components that ride on the fundamental frequency component. These harmonic currents introduce two serious issues inside transformers. Increased heating due to higher losses. And the risk of overloading the neutral bus bar. Transformer losses fall into two main categories, no load loss, also known as core loss, and load loss, also known as copper loss. Load loss includes I2R loss and stray loss. Stray loss is caused by stray magnetic flux affecting the windings, core, clamps, shields, enclosure, and tank walls. This loss can be further divided into winding stray loss, or winding eddy current loss, and other stray loss. Now, let's review how harmonic currents impact the three parts of load loss. First, I2R loss increases as the RMS value of the current increases. When harmonic components are present in the load, they add to the total RMS current, thereby increasing the I2R loss. Second, harmonic currents have a significant impact on winding eddy current loss, it increases with the square of both current and frequency. Harmonics, being higher frequency components, greatly increase winding eddy current loss, leading to higher winding temperatures and the risk of hot spots. Third, harmonic currents contribute to increased other stray losses occurring in core clamps, shields, and structural parts. While these losses also rise with the square of current, they do not increase as sharply with frequency as winding eddy current losses do. This may not be critical in dry type transformers, but it becomes more consequential in liquid immersed transformers, where the extra heat affects the insulating oil. So, how do K-factor rated transformers address this increased loss and heat problem? The key lies in designing transformers that can withstand the additional thermal stress caused by harmonic currents, and that's exactly what the K-factor helps determine. The K-factor is an index that indicates a transformer's ability to handle harmonic currents without exceeding its specified temperature rise. Defined in UL 1561, the K-factor is calculated using a formula that considers the per-unit current at each harmonic and the harmonic order. In simple terms, it quantifies how much additional heating a transformer will experience under harmonic loads, and whether it's built to safely withstand it. K-factor values typically range from 1 to 50. UL recognizes standard values of 4, 9, 13, 20, 30, 40, and 50, depending on how much harmonic content the transformer is designed to handle. Now let's look at the second critical issue, neutral bus bar overload. In a typical three-phase, for wire system with balanced linear loads, the currents on each phase mostly cancel out in the neutral wire. This means minimal neutral current and very little heating. But with non-linear loads, we run into problems, especially with third-order harmonics such as the 3rd, 9th, and 15th harmonics. Unlike fundamental currents, which are 120 degrees apart on each phase, these third-order harmonic currents are in phase on all three phases. So instead of cancelling out in the neutral wire, these harmonic currents add up. For example, if each phase has a third harmonic of 10 amps, these combine in the neutral, resulting in 30 amps of third harmonic current. This additive behavior causes significant heating of the neutral bus bars that can exceed the thermal rating of the transformer neutral bus. To deal with this, UL1561 mandates that K-factor rated transformers must have a neutral bus bar conductor sized for at least 200% of the line current based on the transformer's full load rating. For instance, a 1000 kVA transformer with a 415 volt secondary has a full load line current of approximately 1391 amps. So, its neutral bus bar must be sized to handle at least 2,782 amps, ensuring safe operation even under heavy third-order harmonic loading. To summarize, the key design features of a K-factor rated transformer are, a K-factor rating, 
calculated based on the harmonic content the transformer is expected to handle, and a neutral bus bar sized for at least 200% of the transformer's rated current, to safely handle additive third-order harmonics. These enhancements ensure that K-factor rated transformers can operate safely and reliably in environments where harmonic-rich loads are present. Got a question or a topic you would like us to break down? Drop it in the comments, we would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.